Okay. We're back at uh, we're done fun. We're back in a uh, another uh, 517 hostel. I like the uh, this is, well this is my second time in the 517 but the last one was great. Um, yeah, I really like this place. And they have a lot of um, good reviews from people in the WeChat groups. I mentioned I was saying at 517, there are quite a few people saying, you know, they're a good place to go. So if you come into China, look out for a 517. Are they, are they China wide or is it a Hainan thing? No, it's just a Hainan thing. I think the original 517 was started by a girl uh, in Haikou. She started the first 517. Um, and then she linked up other hostels all around um, Hainan. Uh, primarily, they're, they develop cycling routes, so you know they're they're spaced, you know, probably about a day's, a good day's cycling from uh, from one another. I reckon you can get around the island on five or seven. Yeah. I'm not actually a big coconut fan, but a nice cold coconut uh, after a half an hour, an hour on the beach in a, a tropical heat, you just can't be the nicest thing in the world. Suckling port. Not really sure, but it's 90 yuan Yijing, so that's half a kg, which means that it's actually quite expensive. But it's uh, it's famous here, and it's supposed to be uh, really, really good. Just in the shop there, you can see the um, you can see the baby pigs in the back. So they bring them straight out fresh and uh, kill them on site, and then roast them over there. But, um, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into this. The sauce is there. I have no idea what, what, what the sauce is. It's like it's, uh, sweet, sweet chilli, garlic. It's a little thick, but sweet. It's amazing. Come to Dong Fan, come and get the pig. Very yeah, good. But don't go looking for the little baby ones in the back. Yeah, have a look. I mean, apart from the two big pieces we've just ate, that's 90 yuan's worth. And it's quite a lot on there. I think it's well worth it. So here we are at a um, Dongfang fish market. We've actually been here about an hour shooting with the cameras. It's an amazing place. Uh, amazing place for photos, video. And if you want to see how the people live here and how they shop and the fishermen live, take a look down. It's a bit daunting at first, the alleyway's a bit small, but get yourself in there and have a look around. Up here you've got people selling all kinds of fish. I think I've seen shark in there, some fish that I don't even know. And to the left of the market they've actually got the boats. Now it's getting a little late, it's just about to rain, but all the fishermen seem to be coming in. Um, I'm actually eating um, a sugar cane. The first time I've ever eaten um, sugar cane. Um, it's worth a try, but it's very tough. Um, it's difficult to swallow. Um, it's just about to rain now. Huh? You don't swallow it. What do you mean you don't swallow it? I've been swallowing it. 
don't no. swallow it. You don't swallow it. I thought you was joking. <laughs> I wondered why. So Patrick said don't swallow it. So I thought he was joking. So I've, I've eaten this much. <laughs> and no I've been way. It. And then the last the last couple of bites I have spat out because I was like, wow, how do you eat this? She's very nanny. Yeah. Are you gonna eat sugar cane? Don't, don't bloody swallow it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna grab a, a salty pigeon here. Uh, what you have here is they wrap the they wrap the pigeon in a kind of uh, uh, bacon uh, paper, uh, the kind of paper that you put into an oven, uh, and they stick it then inside a bed of rock salt, and they'll put it on the wok, and they'll heat it maybe for about an hour or two hours, uh, and they'll roast it. And actually. I tried this with salty chicken, never tried the salty pigeon. Uh, I'm looking forward to this, I say it's going to be good. Uh, salty pigeon and beer. Great combination.